Alrighty, it has been an interesting night. So I think that you probably just saw the clip of me at, at Lowe's. Just trying to get something to fix my dryer with. Um, I know that that clip seemed pretty random, but I'll explain it to you now. So my dryer knob, like there's just a problem with it. And I don't want to have to hire someone to like a repair company to come fix it. Cause it'll probably cost $200. And at that point I could just buy a brand new dryer if I wanted to, because my dryer is pretty old and there is a new dryer that I really like. So, <clears throat> and it's currently on sale right now too. Um, it's going to be on sale for the next couple of days. So I, but I also didn't really want to spend $700 on a new dryer. So I wanted to give it one last ditch effort to fix the problem. It is the knob, not like the outside plastic knob that like turns, um, to turn the dryer on. It's the knob from inside that the plastic knob turns. So that knob is broken. I'm trying to keep those, those bigger expenses, you know, uh, from like not happening. But then as I was on my way to go to Lowe's, I get into an accident. Not my fault. Um, and luckily, n not hurt. There was absolutely no, um, it wasn't that type of accident. And I guess if I, I've never really gotten into an accident like this. Um, I've had someone like bump me in a Chick-fil-A line and that, oh, that, I remember that lady. She pissed me off. She acted like it wasn't a big deal that she hit me in the line. And I was like, no, you need to give me your insurance because your license plate literally left a metal imprint on my paint. And she thought I was crazy. And I'm like, no, like, what are you doing? She took off. So <clears throat> I hate that. I hate when people who are in the wrong act like you're crazy. I'm not down with that. You hit somebody, regardless if you think the damage is not a big deal, that's not really up to you. You hit somebody, you're responsible. And so that's really the only thing I've ever been subjected to. Um, luckily, thank God. And even this one, like, thank God, was not a big deal, but it did enough damage to my black car that I can't drive it. So, and I'll show you the damage here in a minute. Um, so basically, I come up to the stop sign and there were two cars, one behind the other, and they were both wanting to turn left. And the car behind him, I knew he wanted to turn left because he was closest to me. So he was blocking the car in front of him. So I couldn't really tell if he was turning left, but he was in like the lane section to turn left. And so I got in the right side to make a right turn at the stop sign. Well, so as I was about to turn right, the guy who I then pull up and <coughs> um, he decides, I guess, that he doesn't want to turn left anymore and goes to turn right. And I, I realize what he's doing. So I honk my horn, but it's too late. He like kept going. He like, he didn't even stop. He didn't realize what had happened till it was just too late. Um, it's like one of those things where like, it takes a second to go, you know, into somebody's car. And so, because I had, I was just about to go and then I saw what he was doing. I laid on my horn. He still hits me. And so he had damage all on his passenger side doors, like his front and back doors, because he like kept going. He kept grinding the front um, the left front bumper of my car and his car is obviously drivable um, because he could have been going what two two miles an hour five miles an hour right to like take off um, but it it's amazing how much damage you can still do with that much speed he was grinding into my car so unfortunately for me he did so much damage to 
my the area that goes like this over your tire uh, that whatever metal part was like uh, underneath was fall like falling so my tire didn't really have any clearance I drove it home oh this arm is getting so tired I drove after that whole thing happened and the guy behind him the guy that I saw closest as I was pulling up that he was turning left and he looked at me he was like yeah he was, I was like did he have his left blinker on and he was like yeah and he was like, that was completely his fault. And like, I'll be more than happy to be a witness for you. So he gave me his card. And then the gentleman who hit me was nice enough. He, like I said, it, or I didn't say this, but um, it was really not like a, like a high anxiety. Like the guy was nice. He was calm. I was calm. So it wasn't like a massive you know uh thing so it was a really a chill experience and oh man my arm is killing me it was a really chill experience i got his i got his license i got his insurance the only thing is that he made this comment he's like well he's like are you gonna call the cops and i just offhandedly was like i don't see why i was like no one's like physically injured and um and he was like well he was like yeah because my car's not registered and in texas if your car's not registered or if you don't have insurance you, your car gets towed and so i was just like and in the so two things happen one my sympathy hit in where i didn't want it that to happen to the guy but he should have his stuff registered and two, the inside internally was like red flag, like what does that mean about his insurance? So anyway, um, technically your car doesn't have to be registered to have insurance on it. So I felt good enough getting his license plate and everything that I was like, well, regardless, like at least I'll have all of his information on file. And that was it. I was able to get it home, but I noticed as I was you know, the, the roads are like bumpy and your suspension, you know, so it was like moving my tire up and it was hitting that metal thing. And so when I got home and you could hear it too, you could hear it grinding. And I was like, oh my gosh, hope my tire doesn't b blow out. Cause this metal thing is like just jabbing. And I got home and I could see like all the, the metal residue, the dust residue of, of it all over my tire. So a lot of damage it's enough damage that like the whole thing the whole bumper and the whole side will have to be completely brand new and not the best lighting but here is the damage i mean like this is like literally grinded it's hard to see but this whole thing is there's no buffing that out um damage goes all the way there and then as you can see this you can't really see but this is like completely curved in and then this metal thing is sticking out and as you can see there's not like a finger fingertip not even two fingers yeah like two fingers can't even fit in there um got screws hanging out and then look all the paint all the paint's jacked so I'm gonna guess this whole thing, this whole panel that goes that goes all up here is gonna be have to be brand new and then I'm assuming a brand new bumper. And honestly, don't even know if there's like damage to the headlight. And if you think about it from this perspective, that's a lot of damage for being at a complete stop. And the person who hit the vehicle wasn't traveling fast at all. So you can imagine the damage when your car is traveling. Because the higher the speed and that impact, the, the more damage you're going to incur. So um, if you think about it, that's a lot of damage. But again, it's that much damage because he kept going. Like, he didn't know I was there turning right because he wasn't paying attention. 
and he decided to turn right. He just he was turning left and then whoosh, crossed over and grinded my my car. So And Loxy's outside. I know it's really dark and you probably can't tell, but I also mowed the lawn. So as soon as I got back from the gym, I mowed it. And that's why I forgot at Lowe's. I wanted to also get weed killer. Uh, yeah, my grass is not going to be cute this summer, so I need to repair it as soon as possible. And tonight would have been the perfect time to fertilize it because tomorrow it's going to rain. So too late I'm not getting going back out anyway I don't know if you guys are like this my nose is itching sorry but whenever things like this happen I'm just like boy what's next um yeah so and the dryer it is what it is um yeah Anyway, so I did call the insurance company, his insurance company, and already filed a claim and everything. So we'll see. We'll just have to wait and see for the adjuster to call back and see what kind of experience I'm going to have with them fixing my car. But in theory, like, I don't know why I'm even going to let myself get worked up about all these bad things are happening because in theory this really was not bad and you know what if you think about it like I guess I was kind of due I've never been in, in an accident and you know the odds just keep getting higher and higher and and it was I guess it was just my time to get into one and if that was what I had to deal with like thank the lord like i'm so blessed that that was all that he him me and this guy you know it could have been so much worse i'm sorry but like i'm trying to see what this mosquito is up to because honey i ain't got blood to give yeah okay rerouting plasma to the power conduit we have impulse take it back Hi guys, so today is filming day. It's Saturday and I have filmed a couple videos and the last one I just filmed was my 99 cent haul. <sighs> I loved it. I love it. It makes me so happy. It's so funny. Just happiness really is based off of each individual person and what makes them happy. That was a really weird intro to this vlog, but it is a beautiful day and I've been indoors because it's my filming day and I really don't want to derail from my new routine, but it's a gorgeous day. Last night, it was crazy, crazy storms. As a matter of fact, I almost vlogged it, but I was so tired that I couldn't even like pick up my phone to vlog the hail that was coming down in the middle of the night. Um, yeah. Sorry, I didn't get that clip for you. Anyway, I have been editing as well, and I got some stuff in the mail. Each haul is just, each, each vlog is gonna be a haul. So I'm gonna go ahead and sit here and show you guys what I got. Loxie's sitting here next to me. My daughter is at her best friend's house at the pool. And I got some bathing suits from Cupshe. If you don't know what this website is, it's just, it's kind of like a Shein, if you've seen my Shein hauls. It's kind of like that for bathing suits. They have really cute bathing suits and I've purchased quite a, mm, I think maybe only one. I think I only have one from last year. And I got some more. First of all, I love their packaging. It is the cutest little Ziploc bag. I mean, can we just talk about that? All right, and this is what I got. I will link a picture if I can of the model and what it looks like on her oh y'all it smells like factory definitely have to wash this first I mean I always try to remember to wash all the things that I get um before I wear it but it's like a little color blocking of peach and navy and the bottoms are high waisted so I feel like a lot of bathing suits are getting um to be more cheeky, very 
very European. Uh, I don't really like, that's not like really my style. I also don't like the high cut waist. You think I would, loving the 80s as much as I do, but I don't. So hopefully this is gonna be really flattering to the style I'm looking for. Here's the next one. It's also another two piece. I feel like I've been gravitating more towards one pieces lately. And I'm also trying to get my body fit. I'm trying to get my body in just the best shape, really. Uh, Karen is definitely my huge inspiration. She is Karen from Karen and Qua on KK and Baby J. And just everything about her is so inspirational to me. Uh, her From her Instagram to how she commits herself to working out. And inspiration is a beautiful thing because what she's doing has impacted my life in a good way. Anyway, I went off again. Here is this bathing suit. The bottoms look like really long, but it's because again, it's like high-waisted, you know? So uh, yeah, these are actually some of my favorite colors. I love yellow, green, and blue. So this kind of looks blue a little bit, but so I got this one. I don't know if I'm gonna like it, but I got it. And here's the top. Top looks like this. Looks more like a bra style. Looks like a bra. Nothing really fancy, except just like that. And that's pretty much it. I'll link this website down below for you, not affiliated. I don't even know why I say that. I don't even know if there's a law that says I have to say whether I'm affiliated or not. Everyone's big girls and boys. Like, if you want to buy something, buy it. If you don't want to buy it, don't buy it. I don't know what else to say about it. I have been mentioning in some of my hauls that I've been gathering toys for my sister-in-law. She is having a, her it's her birthday or it was her birthday the other day and her party's tomorrow. And instead of like giving her gifts, she wanted for her guests to bring like toys and uh, toiletries and things like that to make these boxes for, um, for children. And these are the items that I've collected. There are four children that are like victims of a war and natural disasters. And um, yeah, so it's going to an organization that will then disperse them out. All right, that's much better. So these are pencil sharpeners from Dollar Tree. They're really cute. I actually um, already opened one up like a week or so ago. I used them because it was the only pencil sharpener I could find and they work extremely well and they're also adorable. So that's gonna go in the shoe box of toys. I have no idea what age, um, you know, so I just kind of went with a, not really a broad stroke of age, but I wanted to go ahead and throw some things in there for maybe like an older child. I thought a calculator, don't really know, but I'm. this was in my pink haul, by the way. And so was this one, so I like throw that in there. And then these cute little pencil grips. Put a little pencil in there. They're really fun. Go ahead. This is my robe. <laughs> and here is the fashion doll. I think she was in my pink series. This is the Play-Doh. These are like little cutters to make like the image using play-doh here is the puzzle that i got again it's like 48 pieces so it's gonna be for a much younger child this is tangled and oh i threw in all of the little donut pins i just thought they seemed really fun so throw those in there and i'm throwing in the surgical kits as well and the outfits for the fashion doll. So those are go with that doll. And then the two packs of Play-Doh. Again, all of this has been in a haul video. Uh, these really fun bouncy balls. I'm going to go ahead and add those. And then these little things, which by the way, after the haul, when I showed these, I didn't realize that they lit up. So... Yeah, the green one is, I wonder. Oh, yeah, so you bounce them and they light up. So 
so I'm sure this one does too, but I don't really want to set it off. And that's basically it. I am still going to go ahead and get her a... I am going to get her a bottle of wine, and then this is her card. I haven't filled it out yet. I haven't decided which which bag I like the most. You guys, these are from Dollar Tree. Like, they're just beautiful. I really like this one. I want to do, like, a chic black theme for her. So I think I'm going to use this black tissue paper and then use this one. I'm going to go ahead and put this all back in here. 